Wow, take a look at this on the radar. We're finally starting to see more scattered showers instead of widespread rain like we've been dealing with the last several days. And that's the upper level lows now finally starting to move from Kentucky heading toward West Virginia and rotating in around that upper level low are these off and on showers with some moderate to some brief heavy rain as you can see through the mountainous areas, although flood watches have been canceled, but you could see some brief, certainly some heavy rainfall here over as we go through this evening as that upper level low gets a little bit closer to us. The heavier showers that were back in northeastern Georgia, as you can see, actually weakened considerably before they moved into the uh, southwestern part of the upstate. And the same story as they moved from Elbert County into Abbeville County, they weakened a lot. Uh, not for you folks in Calhoun Falls, because you had a brief heavy shower. And we had some heavier showers in Lawrence Union uh, County, and then it's even some thunder showers up around uh, the Charlotte area about the last hour or so. We started off at 56 degrees this morning, very mild. 67 was a high because of all the cloud cover. We did have a little sun from time to time, but far from the record highs or the record lows on the state at the GSP International Airport. We started off at 52 this morning at the Asheville Regional Airport, warmed up to only 63 degrees. That's 7 degrees below average because of the cloud cover and the off and on showers. A live shot in downtown Greenville right now, and we have variable cloudiness, currently 65 degrees, north wind at 6 miles per hour, humidity up there at 87%. Uh, off and on light rain in downtown Asheville right now with 63 degree temperature. West to southwest winds very light and cloudy skies in Spartanburg currently 64 degrees. Light northerly wind and humidity at 77 percent. Variable clouds also in Anderson. A little peak of sun from time to time currently 67 degrees. A west breeze at 10 miles per hour humidity at 73 percent. Current temperatures across the area ranging from 55 in Cullowee to 70 right now in Abbeville. Everybody else is sandwiched in in the 60s. 77 in Columbia, 76 in Charleston from the Midlands to the coast. More sunshine and warmer temperatures, but there's also a low surface low right here with a warm front right here. And so we're kind of socked in with a kind of a semi wedge of cool air, 65 only in Atlanta. So the upper level low here is producing all the cloud cover and the off and on showers, and that's keeping the temperatures down. But if you go east, south, and west of that upper level low, it's very warm. And in fact, a pair of 84s in Houston and in Dallas right now. Colder air, though, out here in the Rockies, this little piece of energy is going to move across our area Thursday and Friday. There it is right now. Some snow around Denver where it's only in the 30s. Here's the upper level low spinning here. It's going to finally start to lift off that way away from us. So for tomorrow, a cool start, but not too bad. With a mix of clouds and sunshine, we're going to warm up nicely into the mid-70s in the mountains tomorrow, warming up into the 60s. Only a slight chance of a shower in the afternoon. Here's the forecasted highs for tomorrow. Looking pretty good overall. Upper low, surface low, very close to us as we go through the night tonight. Everything kind of pulls up into North Carolina. We dry out by tomorrow morning. And then this cold front comes in, might produce a couple of showers, especially toward the Tennessee line. Forecast for tonight, scattered showers, maybe a couple claps of thunder in the southern and eastern part of the upstate. Nothing strong, nothing severe. Only a slight chance in the upstate of a shower tomorrow. High temperature 75. Four day looks like this. Showers coming in on Thursday afternoon, another system coming in, a few showers around Friday afternoon. But right now the weekend's looking pretty good, as you can see, all the way into early next week. Finally going to start to dry out a little bit. And four day for the mountains looks like this. Uh, just a 30% chance of showers mainly tomorrow afternoon. Showers likely on Thursday and scattered showers on Friday, but dry for the weekend. Now back to you, Carolyn Michael.